Tonight on this episode of Public Freakout Videos, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 moments people got owned. These entitled Karens are hit with a reality check when they are put up against people who refuse to back down to them. Make sure you watch until the very end of this video for tonight's best clip. Okay, and coming up first tonight, we jump right into the middle of a massive public freakout involving an irate woman and a motorcyclist. A video starts off with the woman getting into the face of the motorcyclist, yelling at him before losing her cool and physically assaulting the man. Things continue to escalate from there and the situation gets crazy. Let's play the clip and see how this whole situation came to be. I don't have to chill. Don't approach my car and that's it. Ask for something nice. Bring the mother. Bring it. I obviously can't. Okay, can you not pull out? Can you not pull out? Are you not able to pull out? Answer that, though. Are you able to pull out? No, I am not. Why? Because you are not respectful. Because you're a mother. You are too. You are disrespectful. Don't approach nobody. And sit there and stare when there's oh, kids in the f***ing car. My kids are asking me who the f*** you are. So go to the front, so get in front. No, I don't have to get in front of f***ing anything. Hey, do not. Whoa, don't f***ing touch him. Don't f***ing touch him. You just f***ing touch him. Hey, don't, hey, hey, hey. I get you got a problem. I get you got a problem. But he doesn't get to call me out of my hand. He didn't touch you. No, he doesn't get to call me out of my hand, approach my car, and be a I get your mad you don't. You Look, don't. I am aggressive. I get your mad. I am aggressive. Get you don't get, get, to get, you don't get to approach my car. Get in your car. You don't get to call me out of my name and be a asshole. No, you don't. You don't. You feel like being an asshole? That's fine. It is in your motherfucking. It is within your demeanor. Get in your car. Oh, you don't care. Oh my god. No, I'm about to have some. Coffee. You want to leave? Go right ahead. And up next tonight, two Subway employees are filmed going at it head to head. Our video starts off with the Subway manager telling his co-worker to shut off her phone, stop filming him, and get back to work. The argument had apparently started moments earlier after the male worker was fed up with his lazy co-worker. He claims that she does absolutely nothing to help him when they work together and accuses her of running to the back of the store and hiding when too many customers come in at once. The argument gets quite intense and neither party show any sign of backing down. Let's take a look. You're not I will ruin your phone. No, you're not gonna then you're going to you gonna pay for no, my I phone. Won't. You're going to pay for my phone. Shut the recording. You're, the, you're going to pay for my phone. You can do it yourself. No, nope, because I'm out of here. Then you're out of here. Punch your numbers and go home. If you mess up my phone... I'm not going to mess up your phone. You can stop recording me because you do not have my permission to record me, and I will sue you for it. I will press charges against you for it. Okay, go right on ahead because I have you all recording when you said that you was going to spray my phone and because mess it up. Because I told you to stop recording me and you won't, re won't stop recording me. I see, I, see, I see why, and I will be calling Nicole, and sure. I will be letting yeah. her know what is look, going on. Look, I'm calling her right now. Call her. Because this is ridiculous that yes, you had a whole attitude. That you won't do your goddamn you, had, you, you had a whole attitude earlier today. Okay, you, you, was, you spend more time in the goddamn bathroom. If your pregnancy is such a disability that you can't work, you don't need to be working. You don't play these games when Nicole is here, but you'll play them when I'm here. Now you're recording me because you think I'm going to come out my neck sideways at you, and I'm not. But I'm you, not but that you, stupid. But you already did. When no, you have when I you looked you out of your name? When you, when you raised your voice at me, you That's already did. Outside. And this next woman gets fed up with the wait time at Wendy's, so she gets out of her vehicle and confronts the worker who was at the drive through window. The Wendy's worker goes on to explain the situation to this irate customer, saying that she is the only one working there and she is trying her best. This is apparently not good enough for this entitled Karen, though, and she continues to harass this worker. <laughs> I want to see what happened, that they can't move the line. They have three women. Okay. Y'all don't got nobody working yeah, there but just, you. Just Only you. Cash and bring in bag and food, everything is just me. Only you. Just me. At Wendy's. I mean, Only you. Yeah, yeah. We had okay. We had this cheese but plus we had a cheese order Another one? I got that too on video when you sticking up your finger. This is I'm gonna video what's going on at Wendy's. You sticking up your finger? It's a dumb. Everything is viral now. 
because I want to know what's the problem. Y'all got one person working in there. And coming up next tonight, a customer pulls out his video camera and sticks it into the face of multiple employees after they stop him from leaving the store. The customer wants to know why they have stopped him, and they go on to tell him that he needs to present them with a receipt showing proof of purchase. The customer goes on to say that he does not need to show them anything and says that they only stopped him because of his neck tattoos. The store manager then eventually comes over after reviewing the security footage and things escalate from there. Let's take a look. Get here, please. There's a bunch of people that walk by and they want to choose me because I have a neck tattoo and I'm Hispanic, right? No. You stopped me real quick. Yeah, you did. No, you stopped I, me real I quick. Saw, I just saw the, the box. You see me with a neck tattoo and you see me being Hispanic, you stopped me real quick for this saw. Isn't that crazy, bro? That's racist. That's what this um, I'm sorry. It's bro, I come here racist. all the time. She ran up to me like I was about to run. What? We're asking for the receipt. I don't because, have one. Well, we need the receipt. I don't have one. Well, then, if you don't have the receipt, we can't let you walk out of the store with it. Come on, bro. Really? Where did you Where did you buy this at? Which where register? am I at? You got a receipt? Which register? I don't have a receipt. I threw it away, bro. You, you didn't pay for it. Huh? Yeah. You didn't pay for it, bro. I didn't pay for it. You got a receipt, sir? Why didn't I pay for it, bro? Because I'm Hispanic? Oh, I was really, bro? Writer. Yeah. Because I'm because I got a neck tattoo. You guys really think I'm trying to steal? Nope. Really, bro? Problem. That's that's racial. That's straight yeah, up racial yeah. like profile, bro. He just told Stop me I didn't out. pay for it. This oh, can be a lawsuit right here against you guys. Um, you guys are racial. Go ahead store policy what go do you ahead. mean go ahead for what yeah. go ahead because they where? told me they paid for it so just go ahead oh so i paid for it now yeah, really well, bro because someone told me over really, there bro so i got what? cut in my bag so what so now you, you guys are letting me go you go now you guys you are letting go me go now. right go. okay it's all bye. fun and games bye and up next tonight, we jump right into some more drama at another fast food establishment. Our video starts off with a customer demanding a refund because he is unhappy with the quality of service that he has been receiving. The employee tries to ignore this man as he goes on an entitled rant, but she eventually snaps and starts to bite back at this customer. Let's check it out. You didn't give me my meal when I ordered. So if I could get a refund of my food, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be And then she says, don't come back. <laughs> we not she back. refuses to give us her name. I didn't refuse not to. We're just kidding. <laughs> Except you just told that gentleman not to give us your name. Yeah, because I don't have to give you my name. Well, unfortunately, you're being super rude to us. Uh, so are you. Mom. How are we being rude? I came in and I asked you for what I Please ordered. Please leave me alone. We didn't get the order right. He asked for french fries. You gave me, you me mashed potatoes. Oh. You gave me, you gave me oh. mac and cheese. Oh. You know that this is gonna cause you to get fired, right? Yeah. I hope that you. Sure I hope that you have another job. Good. Thank you. Okay, we got all. We're gonna get me fired. Yeah, we know that. It's okay. It's okay. Don't argue. Okay. We have it all on video. Okay. No worries. On video. And coming up next, Karen films herself sticking her video camera into the face of a Best Buy employee. Our video starts off with Karen demanding that the Best Buy employee get his manager because she claims that they owe her money due to a faulty TV that she had purchased earlier that week. The Best Buy employee tries his best to keep his cool, but this leaves a window of opportunity open for this Karen to continue harassing the employee who is just trying to do his job. Let's play the clip and take a look. You're at Best Buy, Drew. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm asking you to assist me with the television, Drew, but you said don't waste your time. You're walking away. Drew, I would like to have your manager's name. Drew, can I have your... Drew, I would like some assistance. You guys owe me money. No, I don't want... I want the, the head boss, because you guys, I want the TV return. No, Drew. No, now you're being silent, Well, you just told me not to waste your time and you said you're walking away. So now that I'm recording you, you have nothing to say. Don't treat me like I'm a criminal or a thief. I have my receipt right here. So Drew, again, I would like the head boss. You walking away again, Drew? Who's the other manager? Uh, he's the current. He's the current? 
How do we reach the head manager? That would be with this card right here. I don't want a card. I want an issue of the issue resolved today. You guys are treating me like I walked in and stole something. You're not even trying to help me. Somebody who spends thousands of dollars at Best Buy every single year. So Drew, again, can you please assist me? Drew, I'm asking you to assist a customer who spends a lot of money with you. And finally tonight, a woman pulls up to her property and notices that somebody is in her garage stealing her stuff. She runs out of her vehicle armed with her video camera and rushes over to confront the woman. The woman goes on to deny any wrongdoing but has guilt written all over her. Even after being caught red-handed, this thief tries to downplay what she is doing. The pair are then quick to find themselves in the middle of a massive shouting match. Let's play the clip and see how this crazy situation comes to an end. You came here to steal everything. Yeah, you did. Look at my, look at your truck. This is everything that came out of my fucking house. I work, I don't, look, I'm, this, no, this is my drill. These are my fucking sandals. This is my soul. That's what he was in. No. You, so where was you taking it to? Oh, he was taking it to the donations to Found someone trying to steal out of my fucking house. I should beat her, goofy. Look at her. Just pulled up here and both okay. these crackheads trying to steal. Yeah, I can tell. I you got me fed up. Looters trying to pack up all my out of my house. Goodwill. Goodwill, my mother. You was about to sell it. You was about to sell it. I just bought all that. You bought this? You bought this. You're a damn liar. I, I bet that notebook has my name in it. I'm not talking about that. Exactly. You, you literally took my hair bag, my Raymond. Look, she even packed up my Raymond noodles, my perfume. No, you're lucky I don't beat your because I'm ready to beat somebody's. And that is all we have time for tonight, guys, on this episode of Public Freak Out Videos. If you enjoyed tonight's episode, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.